Well guys, welcome back. Um, we're taking the plunge and we're putting a hole in the wall. Uh, this is for the new process that's coming. I don't know if you guys have guessed it yet, but it's the Fuelwood factory from Fuelwood in England. Um, it is pairing up the Splitter 400 like we've got outside with a wood cutter. And um, so the timber comes through, gets cut into a ring and then transferred through down to a Splitter 400 um, and up an Elevator Pro with a cleaner on the end. So pretty exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. That's coming in a few weeks. So we're just preparing for that. The electrician's coming um, end of this week or next week just to do a few more plugs and I've got to put a hole in this wall and then make it secure again with a some sort of uh, sliding door or hatch door or something um, just to put in here stop the weather coming in and stuff like that so uh, as you can see I've put one one strong boy in I've got acros over there uh, I'm just doing the other one now um, just to take the weight of the wall it's only four courses but I've got all a hot water system up there um, for the sink upstairs so I thought I'd better do it properly and then we've just got to cut down here with a, a grinder with a concrete disc on and um, and then we've got to put a steel beam in here to support the weight of of the four courses above not done this before I'm not a builder in any means but I've watched a few YouTube videos and it seems simple enough so we'll give it a go um, so yeah I threw it out. Nobody. Jack's just unloading the kiln one.
So this batch has been in the kiln for 10 days, but the burner was off for two days with the doors open. So um, that's just an example of how long it's taking. Very cool. Right. So that's quite a smart job. We just did a oh, okay. Um, just got to put a bit of wood here. Support all these. Uh, found something new up this to support the cladding. So making good progress now. We cut out the. Uh, that holds the the cladding, they're like cladding rails. We've supported that side with a block of wood. Uh, the cable is still running down to the bottom, so that's still supporting the middle. And that's a very, very short section, so I'm not too worried about that bit. But we're gonna we're gonna sandwich this, put a bit of wood behind. Um, but that was the main thing, getting that out of the way. We can now get in and remove the rest of that wall.
so the hole's down, it's just uh, cleaning up. It's still going in, I'm going to give it a lick of paint, just using these wire wheels. So just give it a lick of paint now before we put it in. Um, the steel beam looks really good. I've just got to dry pack the top of the beam now up to the brickwork before I can take out the um, the uh, acros. Um, so we'll do that later on today. Jack is processing. We got a load in this morning, um, so that's good. I've got to go and get some more cable and fixings and stuff like that. We've got a lot of jobs to do before that new machine turns up, so I'm just trying to get them things sorted. Um, it is confirmed I am going off uh, on Monday to see Fuelwood uh, the Fuelwood factory being built, um, so that'd be pretty cool. So I'll, I'll bring that to the channel, uh, show you around Fuelwood's yard. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, me and Woody are heading off to get some stuff. And um, yeah, we'll see you when we get back to the yard. Right, we're here at Screw Fix. We'll go in and get our bits. Please pleased how this is all turned out. Just gonna pack the top in now. 